Hello, my name is Sky, and, well, it wasn't my intention, but I think I figured out a way to help uh, Clexico, Imperial County, and Mexico, by extension. Really, I, I think I figured out a way to help Mexico's problem with poverty and violence. Um, looking at the city of Clexico and how they could use an influx or an infusion of uh, business investment, um, and right now I'm going up to a Green California Summit up in Sacramento, where there will be several people uh, exhibiting their products, services, you know, stuff like that. And what I've been thinking about and realized is that part of the way you can help Mexico is by introducing green technology, green ideas, uh, you know, to their population, uh, offering training, or you know, basically saying, you know, hey, come work for this company learn these new skills and you can bring that to the community and you know clean up the community help uh, you know, pr provide and create jobs and you know, uplift the people there give them an option that's not um, this that you know work with the, the drug cartels you know smuggle uh, or try to you know smuggle get smuggled yourself across the border uh, be part of the society part of the community part of the environment and part of the solution um, Calexico needs businesses to come in. It needs jobs for the people there, uh, as does the rest of Imperial County. There, a lot of them are bilingual. So, in my mind, it became logical that, okay, have them start working in Mexicali. Have them start working in other parts of Mexico. Um, the news is negative about Mexico and all the violence and. Uh, the problems of basically the, you know, the drug cartels trying to realign or re-establish uh, their areas of authority. And then the government is trying to crack down, uh, putting troops on the border, and, uh, especially in Tijuana and other places, uh, just to keep you know, things under control, to keep the government you know, in power. And you're not quite seeing that happening with Mexicali, um, for whatever reason. But Mexicali has a stronger uh, community organization, a stronger uh, reliance on the business uh, side of things to keep order and, and to really make sure that there's an authority. And as a result, Mexicali is safer you know, comparatively to other places. Um, so in a way, it, to me it makes a lot of sense that uh, any sort of company or business that was you know, looking to expand outside the United States they could come to Imperial County, set up shop in Calexico. Um, you know, <laughs> on the weekends they can go to San Diego or Los Angeles, but it's in Calexico and in Imperial County that they could start the groundwork, start the foundation of a company that it could extend across the border and then overseas to other parts of Latin America. Um, you're pro and providing a solution to people. You're providing a new uh, area of the economy for Mexico to take advantage of, and I, to me, I, I think that's a good solution. It's a positive solution. It's a way that it can help grow California's economy, since uh, in a way that it's a corridor between Mexico City, Mexicali, and Los Angeles. Um, and we, well, we don't we don't want that to be a corridor of drugs and drug money. We wanted a business of people and a, of ideas and commerce. Um, it's there's a lot of possibilities available. I think it's possible for uh, the United States to not have such a negative opinion of Mexico and to realize that there's a reason why people are leaving that country and coming to the United States. Let's help our neighbor to the south. Let's help this nation that's struggling with its democracy at this moment and give them support, give them you know benefit and aid of some sort. In my opinion, you can have any sort of change, but the economy needs to be bolstering of that change. It needs to support it. And with the economy going down, it's just going to put Mexico at a worse uh, financial uh, strait. So by you know, providing them of business, providing them new avenues of business, ultimately we're helping Mexico, and ultimately we're going to help Calexico and the Imperial Valley.
um, <laughs> we could use the help. We, we need to clean up the environment down there. We need jobs. Um, we need to be brought, you know, up to the 21st century, in my opinion. Um, and it's possible. And there's a lot of possibilities for people to make money and to establish stable financial futures as well. So it's, like I said, it was just a crazy idea, but sending out all these emails and looking at different companies, it just made me realize there is a possibility here. If we can get enough people interested, we can make a positive change in a small part of Mexico. And that small part could hopefully influence other parts of Mexico and really help bring that country up, improve their economy, and as a result, benefit and improve the United States' economy as well. So, just an idea.